You want some? <clears throat> Let's get started. I'll put these over here if you want any more. Hey everybody and welcome back to Wacom Texas. The dumb show that's got all the smart people like you watching. I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. Dude, you didn't even eat that shit. What's going on, man? Together, we are Wacom Texas. All right, we've had uh, some studio cutbacks. We don't have our Wacom tablet currently, so I'm gonna be using a paper tablet instead. We don't have a green screen either. Um, we actually pawned that, opening another one back shortly. So, let's go ahead and get started. Today's episode is about figure drawing. Due to budget constraints, we couldn't actually afford a model, so we had to improvise. Um, additionally, Jay's wife doesn't let him talk to women or obviously look at a nude woman. So we have a model here. It's a little medieval still life. A still life is basically something you paint or draw that's not moving. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and grab my silver pen for the armor, brown for the horse, Maybe brown, yellow, and pink blended for Barbie's flesh tone. I'm sure I'm going to need black at some point. Yellow for the hair. And we're ready to get started. All right, so you have a different view than I have. So I'm going to have to improvise a little uh, because I don't actually have uh, a very nice view of my model or the horse right now. I'm kind of looking at the backside of both of them. So actually might spin the model a little so I can see what's going on. <clears throat> All right, pretty good view. All right, now I'm gonna get started with my drawing. So the horse is actually one of the most complicated Animals to draw. Me, me. Um, it's got very interesting anatomy, which um, has been compared to like something like ten animals combined into one animal. Dude, you okay? You usually chime in. Okay, so I've quickly sketched in the legs. And now I'm going to take a silver marker and start working on the armor of the horse. And I want to basically try and map out the entire subjects right away. Otherwise, you start drawing one thing at a time, and you're going to end up getting to the top of your page and not having enough room. All right, I don't want that to happen. It's like you're you're just not you're not here. You're like physically here, but you're not present. And at this point, I'm going to stop and give you a peek at what I've been doing. All right? So that's looking pretty good so far. I mostly have the horse done. I just have to work on the tail a little bit. Tail's done. Now I'm going to start with Barbie's hair because she has a lot of it. It's going to take me a while to draw. It's really annoying, dude. And I'm going to start filling her naked body in. Are you draw? Are you wasted? What? What's the deal? I'm gonna leave a little bit of reflection on the top of the breast to show the three-dimensional quality of them. Working on the arm, and I'll be done in about one minute. And last thing I have to do is draw her eyes. So I'm gonna put a couple dots of white. Like that. Top it off with a smile. Jay, you all right? Almost done, dude. Then we can get back to drinking beer. And a couple dots for the eyes. All right, I am done. Give you a peek at it. Here it is. 
All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. This has been our episode on figure drawing. I hope you learned something new. We had a good time. And until next time, keep drawing, keep painting, keep making stuff. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Dude, you embarrassed me. It's like you didn't talk at all. Jeez.